Welcome back, folks, to another episode of Jamin's Daily. And today I'm going to give you another update on Bruno, the my dog, who I rescued from the Gulf Coast Humane Society. I believe in it was May of 2021, so I've had him over a year. But considering, uh, considering. I'm going to be involved in the Gulf Coast Humane Society's Paul Fest. They have an annual Paul Fest, folks, which is going to be on September the 16th, that weekend. We are vendors on location, and um, we're going to have a lot of fun there. And one of the th- reasons I got involved in Paul Fest was because I had because of Bruno. Bruno has inspired me. In many ways. And he's been such an amazing dog. Uh, And you know, when when you rescue a dog and you go in there, and I I, I probably mentioned this in the first two videos that I have made uh, regarding Bruno, but just a quick recap when you go, or when I went and rescued him, I had my two young sons in mind. And the people there were so amazing, which is why I wanted to partner with them and be involved in Paul Fest. But the folks there were, were really pleasant, made the whole experience amazing. And I walked out with Bruno. Now, since then, Bruno has... I mean, he hit the lottery when I, when I rescued him, I feel like. Because he lives the life and he... It's never alone. There's always someone home, pretty much, and he never need. He he has no wants for anything. He has a, a lot of stimulation because of my kids. But then also, uh, we have other dog. Uh, I don't have. We don't have any other dogs. But my um, my brother in law and uh, my nephews and then my niece. They all have dogs. Every time they come, they bring the dogs. So he's got a lot of fun in that in that regard. It's very. Uh, dog friendly Uh, so he plays well with others and one of the things you know we don't know how old he is that's when you rescue a dog you don't get a lot of information so they said he was about four or five years old back then that was a year ago so now he's five or six but he's pretty young he's pretty spry i see him moving around and that's because he has a disability folks he was hit by a car and uh, his back, one of his back hind legs is kind of a little, uh, what's the word, it, you know, doesn't function so well. But he makes, he makes do. One of his favorite activities is to hunt for lizards in the backyard. He loves to hunt for lizards. Every, it, the first 10 seconds of, every time he comes outside from being inside... It doesn't matter if he was only inside for a couple minutes. As soon as he comes back out, he spends the first 10 seconds looking for lizards. All over, you know, behind. uh, We have a bunch of um, pots with plants in it and and furniture, outdoor furniture. He's looking all over into the crevices of everything Bruno does, looking for lizards. And for a long time, folks, talk about weeks, maybe even months, I never... I had never seen him even make contact with another lizard, with a, with a lizard at all. I just always saw him looking for them. Until just recently, uh, I actually saw him uh, actually you know, take one out. Like He was successful, and all of a sudden, in the corner of my eye, I see him kind of shake his head, and the lizard flew several feet away, landed on the concrete, and Bruno followed up. And the, the, the cool, the weird thing about it was he... He put it when while he was walking away with it in its in his um, in his mouth. The lizards little like you know the lizards have those um, their little throat that little skin that sh- comes out when they when they make a note when they do something. It was because the, the lizard itself looked like black or dark dark green, but then all of a sudden you see the pink and the yellow from its um, that skin. You know you know what I'm talking about, folks. You've seen it before, so that was crazy and then bruno takes it into the grass into the yard and then like plays with it he doesn't eat it 
he kind of just is like toying with it and uh i just walked away i didn't i don't know exactly what happened i think he killed it he got bored with it but because the whole fun i guess is in the hunt and uh so i had not seen him be too successful now i don't want him to shoo any of the lizards away because there's so many mosquitoes we need as many lizards as we can get to eat these suckers but you know folks at home uh, we also i hope y'all will reach out to uh jamin's daily that is the uh it's really a vlog now folks it's turned in really wanted it to be a podcast but now it's more of a vlog just keeping up with me jamin and what i'm doing and uh loosely associated with work from time to time and uh bruno has been a great dog you know it just crossed my mind i need to update or uh, renew he has the home away microchip so I, i gotta renew the service it's not i think it's like 40 bucks for the year or something like that i gotta double check but you know they, they really are just selling you. It, it's worked once before. Somebody called me, and that's how I got them back. One time, and uh, it was like the neighbor three down, three houses down. Like, like that was like maybe two weeks after I first had him, and so it worked. So I think it's. I'm probably gonna renew it. I'll let y'all. I'll let y'all know. But Bruno, you know he likes to, the the funny thing about Bruno as well is he's really. He's a good lap dog. He, he loves to snuggle. He, he'll just sit up there on a couch with you and let you pet him. And he's happy with that. When it comes to affection, he's kind of, he gets jealous. So when my sons are with their mother and they've been gone for a day or two, when they come back and my mom, my mom, their grandma's sitting on the couch and one of my boys goes up to her Bruno, he won't, if he's not even close, Bruno may be on the other side of the couch. But once he sees them, he'll go and in, in, uh, place himself on Grandma Honey. Just because he, he doesn't want to share. He, 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 you know, he does it all the time. It's so funny. But um, he's been such an amazing dog, folks. I hope you're enjoying some of the, uh, the, B, uh, the, the B-roll. The, the you know the, the the film in the background here uh, of of Bruno and his shenanigans. You know Bruno. Let me know what you think about the name. That was also a name uh, that was chosen by my mother, Grandma Honey. Apparently, she always liked the name Bruno so much that she almost wanted to name me Bruno. But my dad was like, "No way." So, none of her grandsons are named Bruno either. So, she finally got Bruno in, got to name the dog Bruno. So, I'm like, that's fine. And now I like it because we named him Bruno right before uh, Encanto came out. A little bit before. So, now when we ever go to the park or something and Bruno's with us and people ask, ask you what your dog's name is. And I say, Bruno. They always get a little chuckle and say... Uh, can we talk about him? Because can't talk about Bruno. But, ew, however, that song goes. They, they, all, they always, it's always a big um, chuckle and a laugh. Is that right, Dad? What, what would you say about Bruno? Give, give, give me, say, say two things about Bruno since we've had him. Bruno's a very good dog. Thank you very much. See, see, folks, we got verification there from an unbiased source. Yeah, we're. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm fixing the. I'm, I'm hyping them up so that we can sell them online. Is that right, Bruno? No, I'm playing. We're just playing, folks. But that was Coach Kino Alaman taking out the trash and telling you that Bruno's a very good dog, and he's he's been one. The thing about it is, folks, growing up, we didn't have a lot of dogs. My dad's not a dog person. Neither was my mom, and so. And then we moved around quite a bit. We always, they were renters, so we just didn't have very many pets. And so this has been the first dog my parents have had for a while. And, he, 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 you know, dogs relieve stress. There's all kinds of evidence and research that shows that having a dog 
uh, improves your quality of life. And you'll see here, uh, I'm going to try to save it within the, um, the footage and use it now if I can, if, if I can uh, footage of, of Bruno with my dad. Because when other people's dogs are sure, oh, my dad's always the type to shoo him away like an old man, like, get out of here, dog. But he's got a soft spot for Bruno. You know, I guess everyone does for their own dog. But with that being said, folks, I hope you enjoyed this this. Um, update when it comes to a Bruno the dog my dog the rescue the one and only and um, hopefully we'll have our next update will be coming to you from Paul Fest 2022 Paul Fest at the Gulf Coast Humane Society Bruno's gonna go back We'll shoot some video from where it all started, folks. Until then, stick with me, your host, Jamin of Jamin's Daily. Until the next time, stick with me because the best is yet to come.